You haven't been avoiding me, have you? No. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Ah, uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, then that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Heads up. Need something? Hey. You need to talk? How do you feel about us? I feel like I've made Don't the right choice now. sticking with you. Chances are we have whatever you're looking for. Your thoughts? Next time we get a chance, we should swap road stories. I bet you've got some good ones to tell. That was it. Sure. Hey, Daisy. Oh, you're back. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess you'll just have to shop then. Ghoul? What's a ghoul? You're looking at one, sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't have any shelter to go to when the bombs fell. Radiation's kind of the ultimate makeover. Done wonders for my skin. I look pretty good for being 220 years old. Now you buying anything? Wait, you're 220 years old. Okay, okay, it's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? More than you might think. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war, if you're so ancient. I, uh... I had a beautiful house. White picket fence and a lawn with the greenest grass you've ever seen. It was peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? Sure. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of everything. I think we need to talk. What's, uh, what's on your mind? This has been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here, I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. D 
Did you make this yourself? Do I look like the artistic type to you? My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh... I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. The soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. She ever find out the truth? No. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me.